Hi, everyone. Hi. Uh, so hopefully you have found our crazy video by now. Pam and Steph here for Welcome to College Success. Uh, we'd like to go through our Blackboard uh, site today and how you might work through our learning plan. Steph, you want to show us? Yeah, so once you're here, um, this is kind of the main, this is the main uh, page of our Blackboard. Um, each week we're going to post, well, um, we're going to post a video and um, with directions. Lucky guy. With directions to the um, assignment, which is going to be the success plan. And you're going to find that right here under assignment. So I'm going to click on that. Perfect. Okay. So here is our week one. Everything you're going to need to do and know is right here under week one. And so I'm going to click on this. And we're going to have two things to do, do this week. Um, right away, I, we would like you to respond to the discussion board. So Pam, should we kind of go through the discussion you board? You bet, first? you bet. Okay, so let's click on the discussion board. And this is something that everyone in the class is going to be able to see. And the purpose of this is to get to know everyone. Build a little community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so look, there's already a bunch of people oh, that awesome. kind of, um, responded here. Um, but what you're going to do is you're just going to... Um, create a thread right here. So you're gonna click create thread. And I'd like you to put the, your name in the subject line because then I, then I know this is gonna be worth some points, uh, five points this week. Um, the, the prompt is introduce yourself. So just tell me your yep. first name and then one word to describe the last five months. Oh, I have a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I actually, I actually posted and um, so you can check out mine. Um, and then also, I really want to know about your favorite song right now. Tell me your favorite song in your playlist, Spotify, mm -hmm. YouTube, whatever. Post it, put a link to it. I noticed some people aren't putting links. I'd love to have the link because I want to play these during our huddles. Yes, um, that'd be fun. So there you go. That's the first way. And then you would just hit submit here. Okay. Yeah, don't so forget to hit submit. Word, it should take a minute or two. All right, so Pam, um, now Pam is going to explain, let's go back to assignments. Yep. Okay, let's go back to the um, week one discussion board. So um, we linked up your textbook, okay? They're, Which is uh, free. Number yep, three. totally free. So you can uh, check that out. There's a lot of awesome information in there. So yep. um, here we is just asked you to preview one. it this week. Preview the textbook and walk through chapter one a little bit. We'll be doing some more in-depth reading next week. Okay, so here is your main chunk of the guts of what you're going to be doing this week, okay? And okay. we want you to plan for at least two hours. This is going to take about that. Um, we'll kind of get your feedback as to how it went the um, next week, but I would kind of tentatively plan for about that. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this, and it's a Word doc. So we're going to click and it's going to come up here and we're going to have you open. Okay. And this is, um, it's going to be coming up in a word doc. Now, the first thing you're going to do, Pam, do you want to take it over from here? Yeah. You're going to want to, uh, well, here we go. Is it coming up stuff? Oh, I have to, I have to do a new share. Don't I? Okay. Um, here we go. Do you see it? Okay. Now? Very good. All right. So it came up and now, you are able to type on this particular one, but you want to save it to uh, your, your file. So a quick um, way to do that is just file. go to file, save as. Yep. And okay. put it in a particular folder where you'll be able to find it. So personally, what I would do, um, Stu, everybody, is I would make a college success folder on mm -hmm. your on your. Um, uh, a desktop and that way you can you can actually like you can make a new folder by going to browse and just go to new folder okay and I would actually just make it college success right mm -hmm. here and open okay so we're going to open go. are you guys following me can you still see my screen yeah we can see you okay yep. And then what you're going to do is see this college success week one success plan. It's going to be in that, um, in the, that 
you cannot tell right up here because here's the breadcrumbs. There's that college success folder that I just made. Yep. So it's going to go and it's going to, it's going to be saved right there. And then we can just save it. Okay. So now go back. Okay. Make sure that you're typing on the right thing. And um, if you just go, go back, it's going to be in your most recent docs here. So make sure you click on that. And this is your new form that you're going to just type on. And so you're going to want to type your name on there, starting from yep. the beginning. So I'm going to start right here and just say Steph Gogger, okay? And and everything you're going to do, you're going to you're going to just type it right on this document. Right on here. So, <clears throat> yep. This is going to be the same every week. They're all going to be due every Saturday, right be the minute before midnight. Okay. So yep. if you get it done earlier, great. But they're going to be due. So you're going to have a full week to do it because we're going to push these out every Sunday at 1201, the new right. one. So you'll have this the week will be a week. little bit shorter, but that's okay. Yep. So, um, and we kind of did the directions right up here. So here's your checklist for, for week okay. one. We thought it was really important to put a checklist of to-dos for success right up the um, front and center. Um, can you first access all your courses in Blackboard? Um, if not, we have a help desk. Uh, they are willing and waiting for you um, to call them at this number if you need any help at all. Sometimes they're just needing to reset your password or something. Um, you should have gotten uh, that information in an email when you registered for, for school. Um, but hopefully all of your Blackboard courses should be open today um, as the first day of class. Um, check your Western email and get in the habit of doing that every day. You should have found our welcome video already. Um, we work so hard on that, right? <laughs> uh, and also uh, an email sent to you in the last week here, September 2nd, either from your career coach or your college advisor. And this links many, many resources on campus that will be very helpful for you. Um, and then you're also gonna wanna download uh, Zoom, uh, which you have hopefully done already. Um, and that'll be required for our huddle rooms. Note these are optional, but gosh, we would love to see each and every one of you every week. Uh, please bring your questions if you have any, because if you have a question, maybe someone else has the same question. So there are no silly, silly um, questions or we are here to help you. You should have completed your online readiness training in Blackboard. That was sent out much earlier. Uh, I think it's a series of six modules. I know I had one student just needed one to complete yet. So make sure you've done that. Uh, Steph, as you know, to be um, a successful online student, you really need to be self-disciplined, highly self-disciplined with a set schedule. Uh, so please make sure you're coming up with a plan, how you want to manage your study sessions. Uh, I'm a morning person, so I can get up early and get my work done. Some of you I know are night owls, but you know, things come up, you can fall ill. So try to be proactive, uh, try to uh, adhere to your set schedule that you have. If you have any synchronous classes, those that are requiring you to log in at a specific day and time each week, definitely you're going to want to make sure those are in your planner first. Um, we are asynchronous, so it's at your leisure that you complete, um, but we also have our synchronized time uh, Zoom uh, huddles. So be thinking about how you're gonna stay on top of your assignments, et cetera, because you're gonna wanna take your different syllabi, pull them all together, note any um, exams, projects due, et cetera. Uh, and then your success plan, of course, is due this next Saturday um, before midnight. And then the new one, week two, will open um, just a minute, minute later. So, okay. So Pam, that was pretty awesome. I just want to just jump in. So you do, so we yeah. don't forget, see, we worked really hard on these success plans to make them as comprehensive and, and easy to use as possible. Right. So we did hyperlinks to all of, if you see blue, it's a hyperlink. So it'll jump you right to our video, which most of you have probably already watched because it was in your email, but here's the student's guide to zoom. If you've yep. never used Zoom, it's, it's really easy, but here's everything you're going to need to know. Um, we we uh, even did the discussion board link right okay. here. Um, here's kind of the guts of what we want you to do. We want yes. you to get started with the toolkit of study skills for um, all of your classes, okay? So here's some tips. 
These are direct links of uh, the things we want you to read. These are the things we want you to watch. Yep. And this is how we want you to respond. This is what we need you to do. So if you see a respond with a bullet, that is indicating how you're going to be gaining points, okay? So this is what we want you to do. This whole section here, um, um, you're going to see the points assigned. So, so the discussion board is going to be five points. Mm -hmm. um, the, study, the study school tools kit is going to be 15 points because mm -hmm. this is all of the things that you're going to have to respond to. Make sure you're doing, um, if you notice this, we want you to do two things that went well for you in high school. So don't just, so if you go like, whoop, um, you can actually, once you um, type, okay, there's, and then you can do it again. There's gonna be two bullets there, okay? So that's- One thing, Steph, if it is a little confusing for students, they might wanna change the color of their text, maybe to, a red or something like that so that they can Good see idea. oh i did respond to that one so they're not missing any points yep yep so um success here's our textbook yep. okay and let me know all of these sections are going to be the same each week okay we're going to have a link to your um textbook we're going to have a link to resources and then a link to time management and then um we're going to also add a strengths but we'll talk about that later yes um so these are, these really- hey Steph, would you click on the success book for a minute there? Yep, let's click on the textbook here. So um, when you hover over the blue, it's gonna want you to do control and then click it. Okay, whoops, control click. It should allow you to do that. <laughs> Did it open Steph? It might have opened already several times. You may not see it though. Did you already open it? Sometimes there I've, there, there you we go. go. Do you guys see my share? Or we don't see your book yet. I think your book is open stuff, but we don't see it. Okay, so. You see it now? There you go. Perfect. Okay, so um, here is an example of a, of a, they're called OpenStack textbooks. And we really feel strongly that we did not want you to have to pay extra for a textbook. So we found a really great, awesome online textbook for you guys. Um, and here's an example of what we want you to do this first week, okay? Yep. We want you to preview the, the chapter. So Pam, do you wanna give them some tips on how to do that? You bet. Take a look at your table of contents right away. Can you click on that stuff? Yeah, I'm trying to get this up more, but here's the table of contents. It's always yep. gonna be right on the left. So but not, when we say preview, we want you to walk through it and look, what are the, what are the different uh, chapter titles? You know, what are you gonna be talking about? So that it kind of piques your interest. You're making connections. Uh, we're gonna be taking a look at that first chapter and the second chapter next week. Um, but there's gonna be some awesome things to do. You can get a, a lay uh, out of the uh, chapter here, there's some questions to ponder, to pique your interest, your background knowledge, um, and make connections. So why are you in college? Obviously, five ways to take action. Um, and then it compares, uh, for example, high school to college. Big difference, right? Um, and then earnings and, and how an advanced degree will um, generally earn you more money. So, so lots of great stuff here, but just take a look at each of the chapters walk through them kind of, you know, you don't have to spend too much time on it, but we just want to familiarize you with our, our textbook and it's free, which is wonderful. Yep. You can print off. If you are one that likes to really write, you can go to the top right here and you can see a print. Just make sure you know what the page number is at the top of your computer when that page is open. Okay. And then you want to print it as a PDF. Generally, you can just read it online like we did here, or you can print. Yep. If you need any help with that, I can help you. Yep, yep. And um, really to preview just means to quick skim, read yep. the top, every anything bold, read the table of contents, and yep. anything that kind of jumps out at you, graphs, um, pictures. It's a good way to just preview and it kind of gets you thinking about what we're gonna be talking about. It gets you time for what we're gonna be talking about. And yep. it really, it's really beneficial to you. Oh, I think I've seen this before. So the more often you can review that information, expose yourself to things, 
Um, yeah, it's going to pique your interest for one. And it's, it's a good thing to do in all of your classes, actually, this week. Um, always preview the chapter so you can kind of uh, get an idea of what's going to come. And it helps you to make meaning um, throughout the week and throughout the term. So really good skill to have. One, um, one thing, too, I'd like to mention, Steph, is yep. uh, you can pay attention to the objectives at the beginning of the chapter. Um, if you're going to preview a chapter, definitely take a look at the introduction, uh, any objectives, how the textbook, that chapter is laid out. There might be even like little quizzes embedded just to check your understanding of what you're, what you're reading. Um, and then at the end, they often take those objectives and they summarize them. So they may actually put that information together and answer those questions, right? There might be um, a glossary, which is super helpful, especially if you're taking, for example, intro to psychology. Lot, I would always run those off. Make sure you run those off to pay attention to the summaries, et cetera. But take note this week how different your textbooks might be laid out, okay? Uh, a lot of times they might even have, for example, if you have a math textbook, all the charts and formulas, everything you need to know is right there, maybe in the inside cover um, or at the back, and students often miss that. So definitely take your time to preview your textbook. It's to your benefit. Yep, it really is. Um, it can save you a lot of time. And speaking of time, we'll segue right here to time man management. Yep. Oh, well, before we do that, the, the we're going to always have a Western Resources oh. Corner. And throughout this seven weeks, we have been working very hard this summer, um, making videos with yes. all of the important people around campus. So you're going to be blessed with neat information. Yes. So they're going to be kind of, you know, um, you're going to get really, we really thought it was important that you all were connected to campus, even though we're online. And so yes. we really tried extra hard to do that. So we would love for you to meet today or this week, you're going to be meeting the Learning Center staff. And this is an awesome resource. So please answer these questions and learn about that and bring anything, any questions that you yes. have, if you need help in any of your classes, the Learning Commons is where you're going to go. Please reach out to us so we can help you. Be proactive so you don't have to react in a couple of weeks. If, you know, if you're struggling right away, be yep. able to figure that out and let's advocate for, for yourself. Reach out to Pam or me and we can help direct you, okay? They can help look at, you know, even help you brainstorm uh, maybe a writing topic, uh, look at your paper, the online writing center yep. you can submit. Anyway, check that out. It's definitely worth your time. Yep. And then um, the la uh, the, we're going to always be connecting to how to be organized, how to be self-disciplined, and, and how to manage your time. So, so important, especially when you're taking online classes. So, so this is going to be another section. Um, a little bit of tip here, and then this is what we need you to do, complete. We want you to actually type right in here your schedule. So when do you work? When are your classes? Do you have synchronous times that you're meeting with your classes? Um, when are you going to study? When are you going to be getting up? Um, so the schedule that you kept this summer is probably going to look a lot different now because you need, it's very important to a lot time for your classes. Okay. So we want to see your study time in embedded in this um, schedule. So you could even say on, on Saturday, something here is, Success plan, success plans are going to be due on Saturday nights. If, if, okay? if Steph, if I'm a student and I know something's due on Saturday, I'm going to do my best to try to get it done by Thursday or Friday. Oh yeah. So for that sure. I can have a little free time because it's really important for me. If I like really hit, hit it hard during the week, yep. try to get ahead of my reading, et cetera, my projects that I can check it off on my, my list. Done, done, done. Yep. And then for I don't sure. have all that stress because, you know, it's all about managing your time well so you don't have the, that anxiety Ugh. or go, oh, shoot, I missed it. Yep. Very, very important. So yep. and it's important to have that free time embedded, too. So reward so this, yourself. This is five points to do that. Um, we tried to a lot times. So like, for example, right here, um, we're gonna, this should take you about 15 minutes. Shouldn't take you any long. Um, the, doing this resource. It should take you about 40 minutes, 
previewing this should take about five to 10 minutes. I just wanted to, we're gonna include the amount of times. So that's gonna help you kind of plan ahead for your time management each week, okay? Um, hopefully you a lot of your- you down, Steph, just oh, about sure. the, the actual, we asked for them to identify their course schedule. Just yep. make note of that right here underneath the organization and time management. Okay. Right yep, here. Complete a list, list your fall courses here. We actually want you to identify your courses here, but then also schedule them into your weekly study schedule. So we want you to list your courses here. That's more for our benefit too. So we have an idea like what, what your schedules are during the week. Um, if, if you have synchronous classes, here. that type of thing. We forgot Very a bullet well. here, Pam. Yep. Um, so note that we, we did have the complete, so we just want a list here. You can yep. use bullets or not, but we did forget a bullet. So sorry about that. We did. Yep, we're um, not. We're human. Yeah, we're human. We tried to get everything, but we forgot it there. So, um, okay, now we're at the end. So about two hours it should take you. We really would love to see you guys. Um, well, this morning is um, going to be, you know, our first huddle is coming up here in about a half hour. But tomorrow, if you can't um, get there tomorrow, we're going to be in a live Zoom. Our huddle is going to be from 1240 to 140. Okay. And that's going to be every week. All right. So um, if you don't have any questions and you totally get this, I say you don't have to show up, even though we'd love to see you. And you know what? We really encourage professional um, collaboration. Um, now that you're in college, it's a really good skill to start developing, even when things are optional, um, to make the effort and time to show up and, and just meet your um, instructors and fellow classmates. It's a great skill to have, not only in your professional career, but also just to be a successful college student. So um, we understand though, if you can't be there, you know, if things come up or you have a really busy week, but we'd love to see you and we really encourage you to come. So what you're going to do at this point, you're all done. Okay. You are going to go back to file and you are going to save it. Save it. Okay. Then now we're, what we're going to do. So you're going to save this. Then we're going to go back. I'm going to do a new share. We're going go to go back to blackboard and we are going to pam you want to show us where to submit it well you should be able to submit it right there okay so you go back to week one right mm -hmm. it might look different for us steph because we're not right so as you can see here's here's the due date september 12th 1159 assignment yep. submission so right here's where you want to attach that very same file. So you're going to go to browse my computer. And the nice thing about this, can you see this, Pam, or do I need yep, a new I can. Share? Yep. Okay. You're going to go back to that folder. See, here's my folder. Well, not there. Um, I made that, that folder of college success. So you're going to go back to that, to that Is folder. Is it right there, Steph? Yep. College success is blue. No, that's not it, but you, no, you have a folder. No, but you're gonna have a folder so you can search for that folder and then you can go to your week one success plan, get it in there, open it, and then you'll hit submit. submit. Yeah. Okay. Don't forget to hit submit, that's so important. <laughs> yeah. You can do all this work and see, but I, I did it, but if you didn't submit it, we didn't get it. Yep, so um, we're gonna give you grace this first week, okay? If If, if things, you know, if you're struggling with it, we'll help you. But for the most part, yep. we want to try to um, make sure that we're abiding to our due dates. It's, it's important to, um, you know, get your assignments done and stay on top of things and start right away. Okay. Yep. It's so important to start right away and get these good habits going um, so you can carry that through. All right. Okay. Do email us if you have any questions. We can yep. help you with anything though. All right. So, have a great first week, guys. Have a great first week. Sorry this video got long, but we wanted to just make sure that you that you really understood. Please let us know. You can text um, my contact in in the contact here. I maybe we should just kind of go yeah, through this. Here's mm -hmm. contact information. In my Blackboard site. Oh, this is yours. Okay, so um, yeah, but, but no, contact my, information, Steffi. What was that? Did you put yours in your contact? Yep, Steph? I did. Okay. So I don't know, I tried to. Mine should be there too. I don't know, maybe you have a different. 
Well, anyway, yeah, they know how to contact us. So we have that information there. Okay. Um, so anyway, have a great week, everyone. And um, we'll see you in the huddle, hopefully. All right. Bye-bye.